there. So today we're going to be doing a first impression and then I will be doing a review at the end after I've kind of tested it out a bit more of the Ordinary Brands uh, full coverage foundation. So excited to try this. I've tried a few products from the Ordinary Skincare line and I've been like super impressed for the most part. Everyone seems to know the Ordinary brand for producing really high quality uh, formulations and selling them at super affordable prices. It's a godsend let's face it i mean that's amazing uh, they have brought out two different foundations uh, this one which i have which is the full coverage and they have another one which is a little bit more sheer this one cost me £5.90 for 30 mil the sheer one is £5.70 both stunningly affordable if you think nowadays drugstore foundations maybelline l'oreal you're looking around the 10 pound mark you know the prices seem to just be like creeping up all the time so i think uh, for the ordinary to be selling uh, their foundations for like you know just above five pounds hallelujah this comes in 21 uh, different shades ranging from very light to very dark you know neutral shades they have warm toned and they have more cool tone shades so they have a whole catalogue of shades to pick from if you are thinking of buying this definitely have a look at the uh, shade finder on their website um, it's quite comprehensive and actually extremely helpful i wish that more brands would you know offer a little bit more guidance and help uh, with uh, you know picking a shade because let's face it it is a modern dilemma these days. I have this one in the shade Fair Neutral because I'm fair and I would say I'm pretty neutral, although I actually have no idea. I just think neutral, I can't go wrong with that. Before I apply this, I'll just tell you a little bit about my skin type, uh, just to give you a little kind of frame of reference. So I have oily skin. It's not super oily, but it's definitely what I would kind of class as being oily. Also, I'm struggling a bit with a bit, she says a bit, I mean really underplaying that one. I'm struggling quite a lot actually at the moment with hormonal um, kind of acne, trying to get control of, and I will tell you right now, the Ordinary brand Salicylic Acid has been really, really effective in just kind of attacking my breakouts definitely a product that i would recommend i'm always looking for a foundation that will provide a good amount of coverage uh, won't feel kind of heavy or look heavy or cakey on the skin cover my flaws but also look fairly natural. I mean, isn't that what we all want? This is the first time I'm seeing it in person. Uh, I have watched a couple of reviews on this. Uh, generally, the impression I get is that people have enjoyed the foundation. So I am very optimistic about it, actually given the fact that I've enjoyed the skincare that they produced. Loving the little bottle. The Ordinary Brands kind of aesthetic is very minimalist, no fuss. It's very kind of, you know, straight to the point. And I like that, particularly with the skincare. I feel like it gives you some kind of, you know, confidence in the the product because it kind of looks quite serious, you know? It's not joking around. It's just saying, hey, I'm here. I'm a foundation. I mean business. I mean, that's me. That is me. I'm not, you know, trying to be anything other than a foundation. And before I begin with the very exciting application i am just going to read you out the claims because i feel like that would be something that i should be doing right now but let's have a little read about what we should be expecting with the founded liation it just says it's lightweight non-oily texture with high pigment content it's cruelty free soy free vegan gluten free oil free alcohol free and it's nut free did you know that there was nuts being put into foundation i had no idea nuts and soy were ever being put into foundations before. What if you have nut allergy? I've not ever seen a foundation that has like a warning on it saying, do not use if you're allergic to nuts. And claims to give a semi-matte finish, full medium, ah, see, now it's saying full medium coverage. It's saying full coverage. In fact, it's, na oh, actually it's name is coverage. It says high coverage on the bottle. Here in the description from the uh, website, it's saying full medium coverage. Which one is it? High spreadability, uh, it avoids collecting in fine lines and it comes in a plastic bottle with a pumpity pump pump pump. Say shake before use, dispense a small amount 
onto the palm or back of your hand, smooth on and blend throughout the face. So is it asking me to apply with my fingers? I did watch a Wayne Goss uh, review of this and he applied it with his fingers. So I suppose that's what I'm going to do. I mean, if it's good enough for Wayne Goss, it's definitely good enough for me. Okay, so I'm pumping. Why is nothing coming out here? Am I doing it wrong? Okay, okay. Pump, 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 pump. The pump is great. I'm liking the pumping action. Very pleasing. Uh, that, that's what the foundation looks like. I hope that this shade is going to match. It's looking good. I mean, it looks fine. I mean, it's fairly runny. Not the runniest, but fairly. I'm going to just use my fingers and I'm going to just go for this. Oh my gosh, it looks a bit light actually. And it looks a bit yellow tone, what? And it feels quite emollient. No idea how much I should be applying and I already feel like I've applied way too much. And it does look quite yellow tone, can you see that? But this is definitely one of the neutral uh, shades. Oh actually, now that it's going on, it looks more like orange. What? This is bizarre. Just using my fingers, uh, which actually seems to be going fairly well. The kind of foundation, is kind of spreading very easily it's just just kind of going on almost like a serum it doesn't seem to be providing a huge amount of coverage at this point i mean it's definitely covering up my kind of uh spots i feel like i am gonna have to go in with my beauty blender you know just to kind of go over this but i mean it does seem to be quite a you know straightforward application and i do believe you would get a uh, fuller coverage using your fingers at first just to kind of spread it out feel the nice on the skin it does feel very emollient though so I, i'm not quite sure if this has a lot of kind of dimethicone in because it does have that kind of you know the primary kind of slippery feel to it okay so i'm going to go in now with my um sponge just to bash it out do you know what's really funny it feels kind of warming on the face have you ever used like you know deep rub or whatever it's called i don't know it sounds a bit rude but you know the, the stuff you put on achy muscles and it leaves your skin feeling warm that's what this feels like which is which is kind of bizarre definitely uh kind of taken away the um you know the redness in my skin uh, i think the shade is looking okay if not just a little bit yellow but i mean that applied really really nicely i'm just going to take a closer look i mean it definitely does look very natural on the skin like i feel like i can barely see that you know i've got any foundation on there but at the same time it's done a really a great job of evening out my skin tone see the texture on my skin still but the spots have kind of disappeared you know like well they've not disappeared i mean it would take a miracle to make them disappear like you can still see them but the redness has diminished if that makes sense so it makes my skin look a lot more kind of even and smooth it actually looks like it's got a bit of like a glow to it can you see that i don't know if that's just because it's not had time to set yet but i can definitely see can you see like a little bit of not shine but you know just like a bit of like I don't know, a little bit of a, a healthy like glow. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then we can compare. By the way, I do believe this is oxidizing a little bit. It's looking a lot more kind of like a beigey colour on my hand. And again, it's making my hand feel warm. Like that's really strange. And you're thinking, what? But literally, my, my, my hand where it is feels like I've got a hot compress on. That's very bizarre. Okay, so I'm just popping this all upon the other side of my face i'm going to finish this off and finish it off well i can never say finish this off with a straight face i mean really how old am i right now 18 i mean she's 18 of course okay so i have this on all over my face and i just wanted to show you that i've still got quite a lot of uh, the foundation still left on my hand uh, so i do believe that you only need to use like a small amount because it does spread 
really really kind of easily so it, it definitely goes a long way i'm liking the look of this it's not as matte and it's not as a full coverage as i expected i'm really kind of enjoying the finish of it it looks very natural that's like the main word i would use to describe this is natural it's made my skin look really kind of healthy i feel like it's covered my imperfections really nicely without making my skin look overly kind of uh, made up or cakey i feel like you could even get away with this on a no makeup day if you did just want to uh kind of even out your skin tone or if you wanted to just cover up spots or whatever that you know you could kind of get away with it, just wearing it solo as it stands now i do really really like this as always with my foundation reviews i will be wearing this over the next few days just so that I can give it a really good kind of test out. I love watching first impression videos but I do feel like sometimes they can be a little bit like not deceptive that's a really strong word to use but I've, I've I've used foundations like once and I've loved them and then I've worn them a bit more and I've realized actually no they they don't really work if you know I'm in a hot office or they don't actually stand the test of time do you know what I mean I believe that you have to like really try out a foundation a few times to get a really good opinion of it and I'm always reluctant to you know be recommending anything unless I really feel confident that it's a good product not that like you would ever need to take my opinion on things like I, I wouldn't expect that I am not quick to recommend if that makes sense I always like to really test a product out before saying yes this is really really good uh, so yeah as it stands out I like it it feels really comfortable I'm not going to go on now because i'm gonna come back like you'll see me in a minute after a few days and i'll be able to give you like my full kind of review of the foundation but just as a first impression she is down with this getting down 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 diggy down 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 anyway i'm gonna go okay bye okay so i'm back and it is with sadness and regret being very overly dramatic right now I do not like this foundation. I've worn it three times, which isn't anywhere near as long as I would usually test out a foundation. But I knew after the second time that I'd worn it that it just was not that good for me. Okay, so let me just break it down for you. This foundation, although when it first goes on, it looks really, really natural. Mm. It definitely... That's freaked me out. When first applied, this looks really, really natural. It looks glowy. It looks really beautiful. Problem is, it just has no lasting power. It sinks into my pores. It starts breaking up. And it doesn't ever seem to really set. As I said earlier in the introduction, I do have oily skin. So maybe this isn't designed uh, with people with oily skin if you have dry skin this could potentially be really really uh brilliant because i do feel like it's quite kind of moisturizing on the skin it's one of those foundations that it doesn't seem to ever set regardless of how much powder you put on it it just will always find a way to sink into your fine lines to sink into your pores and then it just becomes a bit of a cakey mess because you are then trying to powder and it just is a disaster zone. I really wanted to like this foundation because it's super cheap and because, I, you know, I've enjoyed the ordinary brand skincare a lot. But I just don't like it and I wouldn't recommend this if you've got oily skin. If you have dry skin, I'd say maybe give it a go. It's super affordable. What have you really got to lose? £5.90. Also, this isn't full coverage. I don't feel I've got it on now. I've had it on for about four, five hours at this point. And um, you can see it just wears away like really quickly on my chin, uh, around my nose. It's kind of really sank into my pores. It's really emphasizing them. It's really bad for uh, kind of emphasizing my fine lines. I just don't like this foundation. It's okay, so it's like, you know, the early days of a relationship, the first couple of dates, amazing. You know, you go off for days out. You're just having the best time ever. 
and then they start farting and the farts stink and then they start to be itching their bum in front of you and then it starts just going down with this that's like this foundation okay so it looks great at first very quickly unravels and deteriorates into a madness so yeah that's my review of this uh coverage foundation not for me stick to the skincare i would say ordinary I was going to think of a rhyme, but I don't have one. I hope that this review was helpful to you. I don't like it when I don't like a product. I always like to be positive and I mean, everyone loves it when they find a great product. So I'm a bit bummed out, but uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day, uh, whatever you're doing, and I will be back soon with more. Bye guys.